Hey guys, Crazy 45 Cat and Camber. We're out here in the, in the Tiki Hut. And as you can see, we're in trouble. <laughs> what are you doing down there? Uh, the Tiki Hut is gone. It's been 13 years since I had it rethatched. And you can see there's a whole lot of skylight. Been waiting and waiting and waiting. And you can see that these guys, when they put them up, they weave them a certain way to keep them watertight. Well, I got some good news today. Took the old ceiling fan down. They are coming on Saturday to rethatch the hut. Man, I've been missing this thing big time. We sit out here in the hurricanes and you just can't imagine being totally dry sitting inside of here. Got a nice little stereo down in there, 12 volt with an inverter box on the back. We got a kitchen sink out here. Make some drinks, got some fans. I took all my chairs and stuff. You'll see them in the patio. I got a dozen chairs that fit around it. And uh, all I have left on now is my Christmas lights and a few wind chimes. They'll need to come off by uh, Thursday night. Guys coming in here, got a new TV to pop up on the shelf and uh, we'll be ready to go back again. Uh, by uh, Monday or so, hanging in the hut. And the problem is that wherever they're nailed, as you can see these couple of branches hanging down, they've broken at the nails. So, this should have been done last year. I just waited and uh, couldn't afford it, quite honestly. So now we're getting it done on Saturday. It's going to be really, really cool. It'll be green as green can be. Um, when I get home Saturday afternoon from work. So it's really, really cool. A lot of fun. It's 12 by 12 by 12. And I put these double boards on there. Once I get the new uh, top on, then I'll refinish this. Sand all this down with a belt sander. Resand the whole thing. Get it all back up to tip-top shape. A couple pieces of coral down there that we pulled in from the Gulf of Mexico. And it'll be my uh, little party thing again. It's always a lot of fun sitting out here and have some adult beverages late at night. Take a look over there at Tiki Hut. That needs a little, there the hot tub. That needs a little bit of water. And uh, there you have it. Got to replace these hinges. I got some stainless steel hinges at work. I'm going to bring home, replace them with. But it's a really, really big hut. You can see I'm wired for my uh, blenders and everything else out here. I did have rope lighting that went around the bottom of it down under here that was a red light but I'm not gonna put that back up this time I'm gonna buy some new technology LED Christmas lights and have them hanging so between now and Friday I've got to cut down all these mobiles which are great I love them and then maybe when I get home on Saturday afternoon they'll almost be done and uh, it'll be nice I'll walk away here and show you a little bit more of it. Hey, you better run. You better run, man. You gotta get, 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 get. You can see it's pretty tall. It's 18 feet wide across. And uh, I took all my stuff off of there, the fishing poles and everything else. Um, and for you guys that know, got a bottle opener for some of those bottles that aren't twist off. You know, the real beers. Use that right here. So this is always a lot of fun. It's just so hot this time of year, it's hard to even sit out here. Because it's just miserable. Just miserable. But by uh, next week, we should be rocking and ready to go. I get to buy a new TV for my gun room and put my old TV out here. So it, it's going to come together pretty quick. You know, i got extension boxes all over the place. And uh, stereo. Not sure if that works. I've been out here in a while to see if it works. But I'm sure it'll take a little warming up and drying out uh, I've actually had to drill one inch holes in the bottom of the boards over there to let all the junk drain out of here I'm gonna re this rolled concrete down here with some caulking so the dirt doesn't flow up anymore and just give it a good old fashioned clean in here I got water coming in water drains on the floor and I've got power back behind there 110 and I've also got Romex running up and then down the center of that pole there for my uh, new ceiling fan. I'll try to get one with metal blades or some plastic blades so they don't fold over as quick. So that's my plan and uh, once I get it done I'll come out here and do some night videos for you. Because it really is a great place to sit at. 
Got the music from the patio going on and uh you know. I love this bar. That's me. Gotta put some new screen doors on the back patio. Roof's done. Um then we've gotta go ahead and replace these beams over here. This is my next thing. These are all cedar up here. So I'll need to replace all these cedar beams out here. Well, I'm not going to cover the roof. I'm going to go ahead and get the new brown plastic uh, lattice board and lay it across the whole top to give it some shade over here. And then we'll be done. And I'll be back out in a little bit. We're going to be doing a oil the gun video on a barbecue gun. Man, I got the barbecue gun. So just a little update on what's been going on over here. Been pretty busy besides work. It never ends, and once we get this done, we should have a couple parties out here, because it's going to be nice, nice, nice when the Tiki Hut is back together. Look at that. What a mess. But it's been there since Hurricane George, and that's, I think, at least 13 years ago when I built this deck, put the hot tub in and the Tiki Bar, so I really can't complain. All right, there you have it. More repairs, crazy 45 cats. I can finally clean all this stuff up. Get in that house, crazy. Get all this stuff back outside. Get my grouper back hanging up out there. See my grouper down there? And then we'll be done. All right, we gotta go.